the next part is large intestine the undigested food moves towards the large intestine uh, large intestine um, is uh, actually uh, the last part of this elementary canal uh, in the large intestine there are also a lot many folds but this is not as folded as highly folded as the small intestine uh, in the large intestine uh, the food moves down and the large intestine actually the cells of the large intestine absorbs water from the undigested food so the that water is actually returned back to the body and the remaining part um, is uh, kept as a semi solid material we call this semi solid material as feces these feces are then uh, moved down and they are stored inside the rectum for a specific time when the rectum is uh, full then uh, the rectum sends a reflex to the nervous system called a defecation reflex and uh, then uh, these feces are eliminated now there are two related problems of intestinal motility particularly related to the large intestine and uh, we normally experience these problems uh, diarrhea and constipation now we know that function of large intestine is the absorption of water from the food if the motility in the large intestine is uh, increased that is it is uh, uh, contracting and relaxation with a more speed then the result is diarrhea that is when the food is passing with a with the more than a normal speed intestine cannot absorb enough water from that uh, that undigested food and the result is a diarrheic diarrheic situation that is the loose feces have more water the other situation on the other hand is the constipation what happen that there is a decreased motility of uh, food through the intestine when food is moving through the large intestine slowly then large intestine absorbs more water more than normal water uh, from that food the result is constipation more harder feces in comparison to uh, the normal ones both uh, conditions could be uh, treated easily there are many fact there are many uh, medicines and there are many natural um, uh, uh, ways uh, we can say there are certain foods with the help of those we can normalize the um, intestinal motility the other disorder we already talked about it this is the of the digestive tract is the stomach the ulcer ulcer could be um, produced at any part of the uh, digestive tract but mainly uh, these are the uh, ulcers are uh, produced in the stomach due to the action of um, sometimes uh, hydrochloric acid on the walls of the stomach an ulcer is uh, produced that is actually an injury uh, injured part of stomach is produced sometimes it may occur in the esophagus or in some other part of intestine sometimes um, in the stomach um, there is an infection by a bacterium called helicobacter pylori this bacterium also can cause the ulcers of stomach though the ulcers are uh, treatable but uh, there are two ways to treat them number one to take medicines to reduce the acidity and the other is to um, we can say the preventive medicine that is don't take very spicy foods foods with the, which um, causes more acidic acid release from the stomach uh, and so on so uh, this is about uh, digestive system